May I get you another? You never ask the Bushwood man if he'll have another drink. Because it's somebody's goddamn business how many drinks he's had already, right? Wrong! You've had too much to drink, Your Excellency. Excellency, fiddlesticks. My name's Coy. I'm just a man, same as you are. You're not a man! You're a bartender, for Christ's sakes! <laughs> there is no tavern here. Welcome back, Cotter, to another week in the Northwoods. Northwoods News, I'm Coy with Bushwood. And guess who I am? I'm Carl with a K with Bushwood. All right. <laughs> Most exciting thing happened lately. We're almost through mud season. Yeah. So yeah. this time of year, uh, the Packers draft. What did you think? Eh, they did They did pretty good considering, you know. We have, a, we have a knack of never picking who the experts say we should pick. Yeah, I know it. But I guess we can't argue with the results. Yeah, the last year results were pretty impressive. So if, if we could do half as good as we did last year with the with this year's draft. And, and statistics say offensive lineman is the oh. is the least likely to miss, especially with our coaches, I guess. So what yeah. the hell? Yeah, we develop well. So I mean, I, I'm glad we needed a good lineman. We got one now. So good. So Never. Now, I was just going to say, never can I have too much depth. That's true. Okay, I'll shut up. No. <laughs> well, not too much stuff <laughs> happening, although uh, things are starting to, the talk is starting about different places. Yacht Club's going to be open in a few weeks. Aberdeen's yep. been down, and they're going to be opening up, uh, or just opened up, I should say, by the time you're here in this. So things are going, things are starting to get going. Yep, I went and checked uh, my water where I put my boat in, and it's I can put a boat in now. So and there's, it's, there's no mud season because we didn't have any moisture. So no, we didn't. No so, so what's well, coming up? We got a few things to talk about. Uh, May 10th and 11th, Northwoods Bird and Wildlife Festival, uh, North Lakeland uh, Discovery Center. Uh, that's coming up. And what do you got here? And then Saturday. Uh, coming up here, 9 o'clock, the Squirrel Hill Disc Golf Tourney Fundraiser. Okay. So that, uh, that is a... Uh, is that the uh, flinger thing? Yeah, in our the... resident professional, Mr. Matt Haney. Yeah, yes. And uh, let's see, May 12th, Rhinelander, uh, River Mountain Monsters Home Opener. All right. And that is baseball, he said? I think so. Baseball. <laughs> All right. Baseball. We're getting, we're getting the nod from Jay that it's baseball. Speaking it's baseball. Of, speaking, uh, speaking of Jay, let's see. Uh, we got our fishing opener coming up, and uh, I know he's got some stuff regarding that. So why don't we see what he has for us? Hey, everyone. Jason Sloan back on the weather deck. Brought to you by Dock Shop, of course. You know, we got low water, look at your dock, needs an extension, moved, anything like that. Uh, I'm also looking at new docks, get on their list. They can fit people in yet. They're pretty booked, but give them a call. Have the contact info as always. And then uh, how about Rick Lax right here? Good friend of the show. Sponsoring the Muskie League again, and that'll be for big fish. He gives you a free replica. Pretty cool. Um, Having a meeting May 18th, which is a Saturday, midday. We'll keep everybody updated. Some new rules we're going over for the Muskie League this year, Wednesday night Muskie League out of Bushwood. And as far as weather, normal spring weather now. Um, upper, mid-upper 50s going into the opening weekend of fishing. Cool nights in the 30s yet. Um, then I have a warm-up next week uh, after the opener. And we've been getting into some bluegills in the afternoons, the warmer afternoons, finding calm water for those, uh, pretty easy to see them then. That's the best way to target them right now. Um, overall in the spring, we really like to target wood. Uh, that's why you'll see a lot of people on the flowages this time of year, and old weeds will also hold fish. Um, check your regulations. They have a tendency to change a little bit from year to year, walleye bag limits especially. And as of now, the Minocqua chain closed to walleye harvest remember that a lot of people have a hard time reading the regulation you know um, kind of strange in that way or it's an excuse whatever a um, couple lures to focus on this time of year for your crappies just small jigs and gulp under a bobber or vertical jigging around wood can do it too and then your straight rapala 
um, as far as lures for all around stuff like that and the jig and minnow obviously go to uh, for more specifics on fishing reports go to the bushwood facebook page and i'll have links to you um, among others kurtz has a great weekly report on there a lot of information and again brought to you by doc shop as we mentioned and jds construction finished carpentry remodels drywall interior exterior paint and stain decks built and refinished and basically we can do it all so i have a link to that as well and let's send it back to carl and coy okay am i am i, am I supposed to start yeah. talking again okay. <laughs> anyways and some good friends of mine uh joe and rick who uh are reopening the copycat in uh, Manaqua. Uh, grand opening coming up on Wednesday, May 22nd uh, from uh, just good people. Uh, went through a tragedy with a fire and now their new building is all built and all new toys and things to, any, any kind of print you need, you can get it done there from yeah. golf balls on up. Right there, uh is it next to Arby's? Yeah, right by across, down. kind of across from Paul Bunyan. Yep, exactly. All so, right. end of All May, right. there, their May twenty second is their grand re grand opening, I guess would be called. So check All them right. out. So speaking of opening up again, the Aberdeen and Beer Bar have been off for a little bit. To Friday uh, night, Beer Bar is having an Old Pine Road band. So that's oh, really? Friday night, and then same band, Old Pine Road uh, is going to be up. In Mercer at Liberty Way Tap House, that's Sunday, Cinco de Mayo. They got Cinco de Mayo specials and whatnot, too. Oh, my kids are going to be going nuts over that. They Carl's love... already celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, little so Modelo. Well, it's good stuff. Anyways, what else we got here? That was that one here. Yeah, and then at the North Lakeland Discovery Center, they've got a big thing going on all weekend, a uh, gathering centered on the partnerships and collaboration for water quality, uh, habitats, invasive species, wake boats. What do you think about wake boats? You know what I think about wake boats. They can put them all in one big junk pile because they are very, very unsafe on the waters up here. So they caused too big a wakes. I think we've shared it before, but it bears uh, repeating. It's pretty funny that uh, our buddy Bruce uh, used to be on the lake here when one came by with such a wake, it threw his it threw his boat up onto the dock. Yeah, I know it. I know it. So they, you know, well, I've seen some. My boat uh, one wake come over the front of my pontoon, and my front <laughs> pontoon started diving, and it wasn't overweighted either. You scratched my anchor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. We touched on the draft. I'm sure Danny uh, is going to have something uh, to say about that. So let's go to him with sports, the second best beer man in the North Woods. Hey, what's up, Bushwood Bozos? This is Dan Beardsir with your sports preview and recap for this week in sports. Uh, a few things to mention here. We had the Brewers take on the New York Yankees down in Milwaukee uh, this past weekend. Didn't go so well for the crew. They dropped two of three. Took the game Friday night, but then got pretty much blown out in the next two games uh, down there in Milwaukee. So right now they're taking on the Tampa Bay Rays at home. Then they head down to Wrigleyville for a fun series. Always a fun series against the Cubbies. Uh, those three games this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Chicago all start at 120. So Bushwood opens at 3 o'clock every day, so if you want to see catch the end of the game, you know, stop in shortly after they open up there and uh, catch the tail end of those three games against the Cubbies. Um, as far as the NFL draft goes, there's a lot of excitement and optimism talking to some folks about how happy they are with their favorite team going forward. I know the Packers took offensive lineman. Uh, his name is Jordan Morgan in the first round from Arizona, so that's, a, that's always a, a position of need no matter how deep you are there. So that's uh, good that they got that done. And then they got a whole bunch of fun defensive players. Uh, that should be fun to watch in the next handful of years uh, in the green and gold. As far as other sports go, uh, I know that there's a big following for NASCAR all of a sudden. And when I say big, I mean there's like a couple guys that love to watch NASCAR at Bushwood every Sunday. So, hey, if you're in for that, uh, they're down at Kansas Speedway this Sunday. You know, if you're looking for a fun place to watch the race on a Sunday afternoon, head on down to Bushwood and watch those uh, the boys trade some paint, if you know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> so, other than that, uh, looks like Favre just threw one into the end zone to Dorsey Levin. So I'm going to catch the end of this uh, this remake from, uh, or rerun, I should say, from 97 Packers Cowboys in the old Lambo. But, uh, hey, there's also word that there might be a surprise bartender Saturday, I think it's May 11th, whatever the next Saturday is after fishing openers. So if you're up to see something fun and different, uh, I might want to stop on out. Maybe I'll see you there. Back to Carl and Coy. Thanks, fellas. Take her away. Hi, that was Eric Stratton, Rush Chairman. He was Dan Ware to meet you. Anyways, so, well, I guess that uh, wraps it up then. All right. Well, another another one. We're, and it's going to start picking up a little bit more now uh, as the season goes on and we got more and more to talk about. But really love all the people's feedback on how I do, how Coy does. Who's better, me or him? <laughs> if you need to know how to uh, tell your friends to see the show, you can ask Carl. He won't know, but we've given him a, a piece of paper that he can give to you, and then you can share that with your friends. So We okay. will see you around the bend. Till the next time, love you all. Right, it sucks. Only reason I'm here is nobody will buy it. Buy? For short? Oh boy, is this 